heard her sing the beautiful Anastasia. She can, she just doesn't sing. We say sang. She sangs. <laughs> you did just incredible. Thank you. Tell us about the ballad. Um, actually, the ballad was uh, written for my goddaughter, um, Brianna. Um, and I actually wrote this whole album last year, started it in August. I had like a, maybe a three month period of time when I could write it, and all of a sudden, you know what happened in September. We were locked out. And and I had to finish it in a certain amount of time to actually release it first to Europe and then to you guys. Right. And when writing You'll Never Be Alone, I didn't know what was going to happen to our country. You know, I had no idea. But when, when the song is being listened to now, it just brings so much beauty and joy to the, the way that a song can just change in time and give different meaning to different reasons. So it's, it means so much more to me now. Well, but when a song has that meaning and you can connect with it viscerally as, as opposed to, I'm just singing, it's oh, yeah. so much better. Well, I mean, when you, I write all my music, so I'm, I'm just an open book. I tell you all about my bad relationships and everything and broken hearts. So, you know, I'm not shy about it, so. Oh, I know you're not shy. I met her backstage and she, she... What are you trying to oh, say, huh? Oh, shush. Shush. She, she does impersonations. You, you do impersonations. I have to brag. Well, I was trying to compete with you, but you just like blew me away. I was like, okay, mine's not that good. Oh, no. come, come on. Do, do your Rosie Perez first up. Your Rosie oh, Perez. Rosie Perez is easy because I'm, I'm a New Yorker, so you know, like the movie, you know, you know the movie where she's like, you know, talking about Mookie? You no, know, I'm not having you. No, I'm not. No, don't, don't even try it, all right? So, give me another one. What you want me to do? Um, do little Macy Gray. Do little Macy Gray. Okay. Well, Macy Gray did call me. She's a friend of mine in the same label, and she called me and told me how to uh, do the, all the radio interviews at the beginning of my career, and she called me and goes, uh, Anastasia, uh, I just want to tell you, gal. First of all, you know, I mean, I do like three interviews, and then tell them you're tired. Because, like, you know, Let's have Anastasia go out and get this freak of nature. I want to thank Donald Hammond, George Eads, and once again, Anastasia and Gary Coleman. Tomorrow, join me with Tony Danza, the practice of Steve Harris, and Jane Monheit. We'll see you then. Don't go away. Okay.